What's up everybody? Well, finally time to install some of this RAM I bought. I've made quite a few videos, but I think it's time for us to get this installed and see if it gets us any more performance. At the very least, even if it doesn't give me any performance, I'll at least have 32 gigs of RAM. So that'll be nice. Don't have to worry about closing programs in the background. Some of these games really were coming pretty damn close to using all 16 gigs of RAM. I'd like to turn off Chrome and stuff for a couple of them. But anyway, so we've got our RAM. We've got a little magnetic thing here so we can collect all of our screws. From what I realize, from what I understand, you need to gently pry it open after you do all the, take all the screws out. So I'm gonna use this little plastic tool so we don't scratch nothing. And then we've got ourselves a uh, super cheap fake iFixit kit that I got off Amazon for like 20 bucks. It's got every single kind of screw you could possibly want. You don't necessarily need that just to do this, but it helps to have options. And then last but not least, you're gonna have to turn your laptop upside down where this is on a hard surface, so I would recommend getting a, a towel or something to set it down on so it doesn't get all scratched up by your table. But without any further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, well, we're all ready to go, so just make sure you get a screwdriver with a with the right size head. You don't want to strip these delicate little screws here. And then we're going to plop that right into the magnetic thing so we don't lose them. And this is super easy. You just have to take all these screws out of the bottom. It doesn't void your warranty or anything. There are no void uh, if remove stickers that I know of, at least in any of the videos I watched. Okay, those are different. Now the front screws are a little different, so just keep that in mind. They're a little shorter for the guys up front here. So I'm just gonna keep those on the opposite side, so I don't get them mixed up. Yep. All right, that one doesn't seem to come all the way out. Probably for a reason, so you don't lose it. All right, now we're back to the super long screws again for the back. Okay. Oh, we still got one more up here. And then one more right there. And I think we're done. And there we go. All the screws are out. Okay, now that we've got that, all those out, we're going to gently just take our little tool underneath the, uh, oh. All right, we've got it somewhat off there. This is definitely a little tough. There we go. It takes a little bit of elbow grease, but eventually it'll come off. Now, once you do get it off, be careful because there's little there's two little ribbon cables under here. Ugh. I'm not even gonna bother. 
attempting to take these out because they look delicate. Let's zoom in real quick. So be very, very careful with these. If you want to try to take them out, be my guest. There's one there. And there's one right there. But let's ugh, zoom back out now. Because our RAM is right here. And then here's where our drives are. And then the wireless is right under there. So if you ever felt like replacing your wireless with something else to get a little more speed, you can replace that too. None of this will void your warranty. Hey look, here's our speakers. So I was wrong. They didn't come from up there at all. They're right here. At least now we know. I can admit when I was wrong. It sounds like they're coming from underneath the speaker or underneath the monitor though. Damn Atmos and its weird specialness. Anyway, let's get this RAM out. All right. <clears throat> now the RAM's underneath some tiny little heat paper. So you just gotta, just gotta take the paper off. It's a little tiny little copper thing. We're gonna reuse it. Let's just get this. Maybe. There we go. Just gonna get this off and then we can actually, ha, look at that. It left its things on the, uh, oh, on it. Now, what does it say this is? We can get a, maybe. So it's Samsung, eight gigabytes, one rank, times 16, 3200. All right, don't really need that anymore, so I'm just gonna toss it. Now let's get this other thing off. And of course it took the sticker off the other RAM too. That's okay. That's so cool how it just puts it on there like that. Sorry if this is a little unorthodox, uh, unorthodox but all right, we're just gonna do that. And it comes out, simple as that. And you can tell the difference between single rank and dual rank because dual rank would have chips on the back. Single rank only has them on one side. And apparently I found out this isn't even bad RAM. This is actually decent RAM. It's the Hynix and the earlier models of this that you got to be careful of. So I might not even really get much performance boost out of this, just as an FYI. Anyway though, let me unpackage the other stuff before I get that other stick out. That way we can just jam the new sticks right in there, lickety split. Here's a closer look at the RAM that I bought. It's HyperX Impact DDR4, and as you can see, it's got memory sticks on both sides. It's hard to see because of the stickers, but there's the exact model number if anyone's interested. I'll probably put that in the link description too. All right, let's get them installed. All right, and it'll just go back in the way it came, so you just have to line up this little notch. Press down, hear a click, you're ready to go. Do the same thing with the back RAM, which just is the same thing, just upside down. So just like that, just reverse what you did, make sure all of the stuff's underneath, or all the lines are underneath, press, and boom, you've just upgraded the memory on your uh, G15 Advantage. Alrighty, now all we have to do to put it back together is press down. pretty gently, but just go all the way around. Make sure the, the seam is flush all the way around it, which it is. Sweet. And then we just have to put the screws back in. And I'll even do that because way back in the day when I used to make videos, people would be very, very upset at me when I didn't, uh, show them every absolute step. They'd be like, oh, well that's a, an install video, but you didn't install the screws, so that's fake, you're fake, stuff like that. So we'll just do this real freaking quick. That way no one can claim that.
All right, almost done here. Hopefully I can figure out how to just speed up time in Da Vinci for this part. Be careful with the screwdriver so you don't scratch stuff like I almost just did right there. But I'm trying to get out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> and it's a lot easier to do this with a magnetic screwdriver where you can just plop the thing in there, line it up. Heck, you can literally do it one-handed. Boom. Just get them snug. There's no need to over-tighten them. As soon as you're met with resistance, just stop. There we go. Now we just got these three little guys in the front and we're done. And there we go. And then <clears throat> you can choose to reuse these guys if you want to. I did not, just because I figured they were all, I got my fingers all over them showing you guys them. But I guess if I see my RAM overheating and stuff, you can easily... Just put them back in, but I don't think that's going to happen. And if they do, just open it up and put them back. I'm going to keep them in a little... Oh, shoot. See? That's what you don't want. I'm going to go put them in a little Ziploc baggie or something for later. But all right, let's uh, turn this thing back over and turn it on and see if it posts. And hopefully it posts and I didn't break anything. Okay, moment of truth. As long as we haven't fried anything and this memory is compatible, as everybody in the Reddit said it was, this should turn on and everything should be great. So let's see what happens. We got keyboard. Now it might take it a second to boot up because it's got to train the memory. Hey, we got Republic of Gamers. That's always a good sign. All right. There's that. Alrighty. Now let's turn this on. Oop. Now we've got our touchpad. Let's go into hardware info here. And make sure our memory is running right. Alright, it's running at 1600 megahertz. See, all right, 20, 20, 20, 560, and one. This was like eight, 800 and something on my other RAM, and these were all like 22s. So we dropped two in the TCAS. So, oh yeah, definitely got a boost. So we got 1512 for single, 18605 multi, and then if we come down here. Go into our little screenshots from stock RAM. Now look at that difference. Both of these were turbo mode as well. So we went from 1476. So there you go. Now you guys can see side by side. Quite the improvement the RAM makes. And you don't have to spend 250 bucks on 32 gigs of it like I did. You could go spend 150 on 16 and probably be fine for a while. I just figured why open the thing up in another couple of years when I could just shove 32 gigs in there? Besides, when you do video editing and stuff like I do, you, 16 gigs of RAM tends to not be enough, even if you're just doing basics. That is, unless all you're going to do is video editing. Just having Chrome, a couple YouTube tabs up while I was doing a video encode, and I was sitting right at about 14 gigs of memory with DaVinci, Chrome, and a couple other things running in the background, so... Just saying that, obviously most people can just close applications and be happy with it, but I think this RAM upgrade was absolutely worth it.
I am very excited. If benchmarks are showing this, I'm excited to see what games show. That will about wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I made this uh, installing RAM video good enough for you guys to be able to do it yourselves with confidence. Obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'm more than happy to help you out with any questions you might have, as long as I have the knowledge. But, alrighty, till the next video, peace out, guys.